this is another thing that I really wanted to do when I came down to South Florida this year is bring my kayak for this reason over there. Uh, that bridge right there, right over there where you can stand, I've caught a bunch of fish. I, uh, been there like a couple times each time I've came. Every time I caught fish off those pillars and um, largemouth and peacock bass and Oscars and cichlids. So I'm putting my kayak in here today and there's a gator swimming around right there. Yes, there's gators in here and this is the boundary of like the uh, protected area. So I'm gonna go over there and kayak in that and hopefully we're gonna get on some fish. And I'm really, I'm, my main reason was to really go for a big one. This is my probably my best chance to catch one of my biggest peacock basses. Maybe a big old largemouth. The water really just drops off in this canal. I can see down about five feet right there. Pretty clear. Just want to be a little extra careful. In everything I do today. Got these lily pads, we'll be fishing. It's stinking hot. It's only like 80 something degrees, but I don't like it. First cast. First cast. <laughs> That's just what I thought was gonna happen. I don't wanna get in, hit my hole under there. I'm not even on the pillar that I was wanting to get to. F first cast, first. And we got a peacock bass. This is a, there's a bunch of this size. I don't know what we're gonna do if we get a giant. Don't want to get hooked or hurt or kayak in a bad situation. Just a little one pounder. Very nice. I expect a bunch more. Got my pliers there, got my grippers there. Ready to go. I'll just throw it here on this side. Oh, there's a second cast. Hit it on the pause. Hey, get out of there. Uh-oh. He, that was good. This, these little guys are so strong. I'm gonna have to really pay attention. He took it up in my rudder for a second. two on second cast <laughs> I didn't even have it on there always a little bit better Really pretty one. Turn around the shade again. Oh, this is wild. Number three. Oh, be careful. The closer I get to those pillars, the more hits I, the better, uh, or the faster I get a hit. You'd think I was catching five pound fish every time. It's just, it's just silly. I've already caught these fish in less than 10 minutes. Let's weigh one, let's just see what we're working with. There's, I think they're all about, about the same size. One pound, six ounces. 
So these are right here, pound and a halfers. Fight like a four pound smallmouth. Well, I wouldn't say that. Smallmouth dig a little longer. And if you get them in the right conditions, they're really strong. But these things are so strong. weeds over there it looks feels a little smaller <laughs> I just want to take one of these home they're so cool Whew. What a jerk man, it's hard work. Especially doing it that hard. say that one look at that hump on his head biggest one today and the biggest one on my trip that I've been down here I'm gonna say it's two and a half pounds oh two pounds four ounces almost Freshwater fish to catch. Nice. That's the kind of fish I want to catch. We're going to get above that 30 pound mark. I know it. We're only uh, 27 minutes in. I can barely see the end of that bridge down there. We got a long way to go. If I even want to go through all of them. I'm getting tired of the casting this thing, but there's so many bites in this thing. Somewhere we're going to find some largemouth. I don't know where. <laughs> oh, ah, swarm after it. matter of the drag set I had it tight I can't go any loose I don't want to get pulling me into a pillar oh look this ain't even a big one Woo! hey our hammer the thing oh just a one pounder Nothing crazy. That's a 
chunky one. Pretty fat one there. Two pounder. reeling it in and let it pause right at the kayak. Oh. This guy. Oh. No. Oh. That could have been my three pounder. I should have pulled so hard on him. Oh, my shoulder is killing me. Already. Maybe that's the rhythm, or just maybe there's more fish here. Pretty good one. We'll net it. If I can come over here. Whew. Kind of was just reeling and stopping, reeling and stopping. That's the last two hit. Either that rhythm got them better, or they're just there's more in this spot over here. Pound and a half. Ow. Man, those things hurt. I'm just getting used to these. Oh, just another pound and a half hard fighting fish. Hurt you. These things are pretty impressive fish. Yeah. He's just cruising through right there beside me. Just checking me out. I'm going this way, he's going that way. Hopefully, he just keeps on going. Oh, he's turning. All right, we'll go on down a little ways. That gator didn't come over here. Just hanging over there. Pretty solid. He's barely hooked in the nose or in the mouth. Get him in the net. Yeah, nah, not that big. Decent. We'll get that loose in a little bit. Hmm, pound and three quarters probably. Oh, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. He's kind of just trying to check me out, I think. He's coming up behind me though. He stopped when I started moving. A little uneasy, I don't know. I don't think he can tip me over or anything, but I might try to get in my kayak. Bite me. Dude, non-stop this size. Literally non-stop. Pound, uh, between a pound and two pound. And I had, I've had a couple hits though. I mean, they could have been some giants. I've had a couple hits that came loose that really pulled. We gotta get one of those landed or, I don't know if we will or not, but I'm hoping to get one landed. If not, we'll, I'm sure we'll just keep on catching this size. 
that was a pounder. I think he's hooked weird. Well, it's a lot easier to work that jerk bait standing up. Damn. Dude, it's one after another. It's definitely easier standing up to throw that lure. This one, I, this is just, a, I think it's a Arapalo, but I don't really really think it matters too much, the lure. I'm gonna, I got maybe a couple other ones I might throw, but that's just getting it done. They're just hammering it. Getting it done. over here by this pillar and I saw a wave from the other pillar where it left it was probably sitting there and left and came over and hammered it it's non-stop this is the easiest fishing I think I've ever had oh it's gonna broke off This is just stupid. Dude, I watched that one. That was so cool. I went through two or three bridges or pillars, nothing. Came to this one, had a blow up on it right away, missed it. Reeled it in, had a couple follow, jerked it, and this thing came and hit it. It's like certain of these pillars, there's just fish there. I guess we're gonna end it up with this one. Is this one gonna be three pounds? Well, both my cameras died at the exact same time, which is crazy. Uh, this is two pounds even. It's gonna be the last one today, probably. Look at those bars on it, that looks really cool. Dude, there's a lot of fish in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was nice. It was, I, I timed it hour and a half, all those fish caught. It's so just stupid easy to be able to catch fish like this. I didn't catch any giants. And I know I've talked to people, this is not really the spot probably where you're gonna catch the five pound peacock bass. They seem to be more in the you know canals but this is a spot where you can just go and catch fish after fish i didn't go five minutes without catching a fish it was insane i don't know if i put all the catches in here or not but i using the jerk bait the best thing seemed to be like a jerk bait that had a quick stop to it i feel like a quick pause was better i went through about four different ones uh rapellas smithwick um i can't remember what else some other stuff um a bomber and they all caught fish but there was that one Smithwick, I caught like four or five in a row and then I lost it. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to see what lures I use going down the second half of the bridge, I've come from down there. Now I'm going to go work my way down that way. I've probably come a quarter mile. So uh, just be subscribed and uh, I guess have notifications turned on or whatever you got to have. But uh, hopefully it'll be coming out soon. 
if I even catch anything. So I'm gonna try to mess around and see what I would catch. This was awesome. I hope to catch more. And I'm really surprised I didn't catch a single largemouth. I always caught largemouth here before. Um, first time doing it on the kayak, but you know, that's what, that's what, but you never know how fish is gonna go. So fun day. Thanks for watching.